War, what is it good for? Well, when it comes to defeating terrorism, not much. Our war on terror begins with Al-Qaeda, but it does not end there. Ah, the good old war on terror, which started with such grand ambitions. Yet after 14 years, $4.4 trillion, hundreds of thousands dead, is the world any safer? Has the war been won? Not quite. Between 2002 and 2014, the US government estimates that death from terrorism went up by 4,500%. If that's winning, I wouldn't want to see losing. Take Iraq. Before the invasion in 2003, there were no recorded suicide attacks in that country's history. None. Since 2003, 1,892 suicide attacks, killing almost 20,000 people. One Al-Qaeda strategist went as far as to say that the war in Iraq almost single-handedly rescued the jihadi movement. You may have heard of ISIL. It didn't exist on 9-11. Just saying. If you're still not convinced that all the so-called war on terror has given us is more war and more terror, check out Afghanistan. Insurgents killed 2,643 Afghan civilians last year, the highest number since UN records began. And remember, the Taliban were supposed to have been defeated back in 2001. Then there's Pakistan. There's more extremism today in Pakistan than ever in our history. In the 14 years before 9-11, there was one suicide attack on Pakistani soil. One. In the 14 years since, 486 suicide bombings, causing more than 6,000 deaths. And the story is tragically the same in Somalia, Yemen, Libya, Nigeria, and Syria, where the situation is now so dire that you'll never believe who the former head of the CIA has apparently called on for help against ISIL. Yep, Al-Qaeda. Full circle, full failure.